Hello out there. Can you see me? But do you really see me? There's more to me than meets the eye, and there's more to you too. The study of complexity theory shows us that humans are complex. No two of us are exactly alike. We each have our own identities, experiences, beliefs, and mindsets that shape who we are. We constantly change as we interact with each other and our environment. And we should never be reduced to a few aspects of ourselves. We are, by design, very complex. Workplaces are also complex. After all, they're made up of people. Research shows that employees in workplaces want to be seen fully as humans, and they desire more meaning in their work. It makes sense. Think about your own experience. Haven't you ever wanted to wave your hands and say, here I am. There's so much more to me that you don't see. There's so much more that I can do. We might be expecting leaders to solve this, and yes, they do play a role, but consider the processes those leaders are expected to follow, like recruiting, performance management, or employee development. In my work helping businesses navigate complexity in their people strategies, I've often thought about how these processes are meant to support the business and its employees, but don't always account for the complexity of humans. This can often end up reducing people to a fragment of who they are. Think about recruiting an employee. It's based on what an organization thinks it needs at any given time, and how a person presents themselves as able to meet that need. Most of us have applied for jobs. We start by creating a resume, and let's be real, we're all doing our best to be seen as a perfect fit for that job. Advice tells us to follow a certain writing pattern, use specific words, try to get our resumes down to one page, and even simplify the look and feel of our resumes. After all of that, if we're lucky and don't get filtered out by any recruiting software, someone sees our resume. One study showed that recruiters spend an average of seven seconds initially looking at each resume. Whew. I mean, I get it. From a business standpoint, it's an efficient and standard process for recruiting people. But the minute we standardize a process, we automatically exclude anything outside of that process. In this case, the business gains recruiting efficiency, but the trade-off often minimizes and excludes a big portion of who a candidate is and what more they can contribute to the business. I've been hired into businesses where I went through this standard recruiting process and fit myself into a specific and narrow job description. I've also been hired for roles where I was able to create my own job description. I was given a level of freedom to meaningfully design how I, Jennifer Sorensen, could bring all the things that make me uniquely suited for the current role and the long-term benefit of the business. One process narrows an employee to fit a job, and the other empowers and maximizes the contribution of a person to benefit both the business and the individual. If we truly value each person and their complexity, why do we file a person's resume away after hiring them? Instead, let's ask each person to tell us more about themselves, to expand their resume, even go beyond their resume, especially as they grow and change. Rather than fit an employee into a narrow job description, let's ask them to enhance their role with their unique life experiences, interests, and background that will contribute even more to the success of the business. We need to shift our thinking from just looking at an immediate role to looking at a person, a person who can bring added value to benefit the business in many roles and many ways, both now and 
in the future. Remember that job where you did something so well that you were asked to do it again? And again. And again. <laughs> Me too. At first, I felt grateful to be recognized for the great job I was doing. It feels good to be valued. Over time, I began to feel a bit stuck. I craved the chance to use other skills I have and am passionate about. I know I'm not alone. There are many of us who want our leaders and coworkers to know and acknowledge the many ways we can contribute to the business. There are many of us who want a seat at the table when there's a need for a skill we have, even if it's a skill we're not currently using or one that we want to learn. We want the opportunity to be seen and utilized in expansive ways that are meaningful to us and to the business. The reality is that this intersection of performance management and employee development isn't always structured in ways that expand what an employee can and wants to contribute as they grow and change, especially if that person is known and valued for one specific skill. Every person has more to offer and more capability than businesses and their leaders are tapping into. At every stage of an employee's workplace journey, we need to create enough freedom in these standard processes for the complexity of people to surface. Even a small amount of freedom will allow new possibilities to emerge as each person is seen for more of who they are and can connect themselves to the business in meaningful ways. It can be hard to display and predict the complexity of humans and their interactions. But there are some ways to visualize this for specific organizational needs. I worked on a project with the goal of displaying connections between leaders who were positioned to solve citywide challenges. We set out to talk to 12 leaders. They connected us with more leaders. As information poured in, we mapped it out. Our conversations led to displaying over 100 connections. But we didn't stop there. We added an expansive view of those we interviewed and their potential interactions. Ultimately, what emerged from the map were what we called bright spots. People with a unique skill, mindset, or approach they wanted to contribute to solving their city's challenges. This map gave clarity on what challenge to start with and revealed how to leverage the collective bright spots among these leaders to benefit their city. Think about what challenges you could solve with an expansive view of people in your organization. There are bright spots in every workplace and in every person. By leaning into the complexity of humans, we help people unlock greater potential and find more meaning in their work at every stage of their workplace journey. This is a critical time. People are rethinking the significance of work in their lives. An entire generation is retiring more quickly than new workers can support. And new technologies are with us. As we strive for efficient designs to address these and other changes, let's also remember to design for humanity. The next time you're at work, reimagine organizational processes moving toward those that honor the complexity of the people around you and yourself. Get curious, and you'll see the bright spots. Thank you.